This demo shows how to use XNERMS to blend faces with G2 continuity. Such surfaces have been widely used in industrial design, for example, microphones etc. To apply G2, the existing boundary conditions must support G2. Let's get started. Start XNERMS. For this surface, we switch on the Optimize for Quad Sided Surface option and keep the G2 setting. Select Curves. Click the Create button to finish the surface. Do the same to the other two surfaces. If you are not familiar with XNERVS, please check out our basic tutorial videos for how to use XNERVS correctly and efficiently. For this particular surface, we need switch off the Optimize for Quad Sided Surface option because it is an end sided patch or trim surface. Done. Let's take a look at the zebra view. Pretty good. The max tangent deviation is 0.03 degree. The demo is made by XNERBS version 5.2. While it is super simple to use XNERBS, some users may be unable to use XNERBS correctly and efficiently. One mistake is, apply G2 while the existing boundary conditions do not support G2. We use this blending model to demonstrate the mistake. We keep the G1 setting for all the surfaces. Here we switch on G2. When the existing boundary conditions do not support G2, it will result in dense control points, poor surface quality and large deviation. See the dense control points. Do not do it this way. You can click the help button to bring up the manual. The XNERBS manual include all the detailed discussions. That is all for now. Check out our other tutorial videos for how to use XNERBS efficiently. Thank you for watching.